Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Texas A&M's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbert. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they got it. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. He's taken down. 28 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. Third down. Just picked off. Brought down at the 27. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From the 27-yard line, first down. Got it, and brought down immediately. about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's go! Takes it and he's tackled short. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 27. for a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Strike to his receiver, no good. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. So the 
Aggies quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured early. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Williams fields at the 29. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Second down and five. Ball on the 50. Ready. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. on the play. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Nickel awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. The question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses, but I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts clicking. Here's the halfback. They go to the left for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it 76. Number 15. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. And he's tackled around the 39 yard line. Strike to the receiver. He's at the 40, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. From the 36-yard line, first down. He scrambled. Got an opening. He takes off. He's tackled in the open field. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Second and six coming up here. Eight yards out. We've played one quarter. Still no score. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. Decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it third and one. Third down again. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Aggies. And he adds 
is the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Let's check in on the action in Reno. Mon gets set to kick this one away. Williams takes it at the four. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 21. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. run for the first down by this quarterback. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's taken down at about the 31. Well, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. five-yard line. It's second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a receiver. Here you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. He's in trouble. Throws incomplete and tennis for his wideouts. Super play to time the hit just right on what looked like a sure touchdown. He really laid some lumber there. This is the ninth play of this drive. Pressure coming. He rolls out to the right. And he's level at the 19. Fourth and long here after the sack. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. UNLV gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Texas A&M is up four. Across the middle, he's got his halfback. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. 
They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And about the 35. Short game by the running back, and that's a first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. He's at midfield. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the 45. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's tackled at the 35. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. So we'll be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. He's under pressure. It's a fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover block. They need to hold on to the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Now he's scrambling. And he has it on the corner. He's out of bounds at the 42. First and 10. Ball on the 42. tries to buy some time. Throws falling back. Incomplete. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. So the Aggies lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's stopped behind the line. That'll be a two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up third and 12. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just punt this ball away. Walk down around the 22-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. UNLV is going to take their first time out of the half. And a 
quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 14. Texas A&M is up by four. And down he goes at the 17. Well, we've played a half of football. Texas A&M's up by four. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Drill the 37 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Scrambling around. Heading for the corner. He's at midfield. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46 yard line. the 46-yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble, and he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The stop at around the 12 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He scrambled. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line. Second down. Ready. Check, check. 200 check. Under heavy pressure. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds at the three yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown. They went 
into the air and got the touchdown. It's important for the confidence of your offense to score when you get that close. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. But this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Slings it. Tackle made at the 44. Brings him down at the 44-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Daniels gets the call, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Second and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. The punt goes out of bounds of the four-yard line. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And they hit him in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. It's second down. And as they come up to the line, they're going to be in the shadow of their own goalpost. UNLV is up a field goal. He's on the run. Quick pass. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. his way out to about the 35. From the 
their own 35-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Scrambling, tries to get around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 10-7, UNLV. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Set, Ryan, 68. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at the 49-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 49. UNLV is up by three. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. And he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. This is the eighth play of this drive. Got hit and still completed it. They'll bring him down at the 32. about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the seven. This is the 12th play of this drive. UNLV has a three-point lead. And he's immediately tackled. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Let's go. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of the play. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Check nine, check nine. Ready! Right, 80! He's going to try and scramble. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The kick is up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. 
and they can forget about returning this one. Texas A&M's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fights forward to about the 26. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Less than three minutes in the game. He scrambled. And they get the sack. They cannot afford to take sacks at this point in this ball game. No, they cannot. This is do or die time. receiver and he's tackled in the open field Call it a game of 18 yards. Check, check. 200 check 200 check set 180 Why? 80 check check Omaha he's scrambling and they got him so the quarterback I think could have done a better job of the pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz that way he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offensive lineman against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. We had a great play by the linebacker, but let me tell you, as a quarterback, you almost rather throw against man-to-man -man coverage than evaluate zone defense. And here, I think this zone defense, I think the linebacker snuck up, and I don't even know if he saw him before he threw the football. Scoops it. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. So they're going to go for it here. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. He's at the 20. Brought down around the 12-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12. We have less than a minute to go. He makes it to the nine. Three-yard gain by the running back. Texas a and is going to have to use their second time out of the half. the six-yard line. Robbins gets three yards on the play. So the Aggies, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Third and five situation. Six yards to the end zone. Check, check. Here we go. Green nine. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it fourth and inches. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Rolls to the left. 
Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. The Rebels knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And they're looking to get two points here. Ready! Ready. He's on the run. Caught it, and the conversion is good. So a five-play, 29-yard drive. And they get eight points after that two-point conversion. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. UNLV's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. He's to the 40. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Number seven makes the tackle. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats, so don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He's in trouble. Wants to throw outside. Intercepted. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 21-7, Rebel. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.